What is going on guys, Unlimited Cop here back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a sneaker server on AWS. If you guys aren't familiar with AWS, pretty much all it is is it's a cloud-based service allowing its users to create servers for like an hourly rate. This is very beneficial if you are new to the sneaker game and you can't afford to pay a couple hundred dollars a month for a good sneaker server. You can rent one from like AWS for like two or three dollars an hour, which is a really good rate. Personally, AWS is my favorite sneaker server platform just because they have really high quality servers for a pretty good price. Now compared to like G Cloud or Azure, the prices are a little bit higher, but I definitely do think it is worth it just because there are high quality servers. And I did a test with G Cloud and AWS and I found out AWS was faster so personally I just like using it better and that's what I always use. Now before we hop onto my computer and I show you guys how to make a server I want to talk a little bit about AWS credits. So if you don't buy AWS credit you are going to get charged hourly for like 2, 18 hours or something for the server I'm going to show you guys and there is kind of a way to make it that little bit cheaper. You can buy AWS credits for like 20, 30 bucks for like $150 in AWS. If you guys are interested, just check like eBay, just type in AWS credit. You can find tons of listings for them. It's usually like 35 bucks for like 150, like I said. I would highly suggest doing that to kind of lessen the cost of like the higher end servers. Now that you guys can know a little bit more about AWS, let's hop right into the computer and I'll show you guys how to set up a server. All right guys, so as you can see now, we're on my computer and we are on the AWS website. I'll link that down in the description below just so you guys don't have to go searching for it. Pretty much all you guys have to do is come up here to the top right where you see sign into console. And if you guys don't have an account already, simply just hit create an account right here. You have to go through a little process and put your credit card number in or whatnot. So just go through that. And then you'll see the console page right here. Now it might look kind of intimidating at first guys, but it's really not that hard to understand. Pretty much the only two things you guys are gonna have to worry about is billing and EC2. Whenever you open it up, you're not gonna see the recently visit services, obviously, because you have a new account. So pretty much all you guys are gonna wanna do is if you have not already, buy AWS code, go to your billing, go to your credits tab. I'm not gonna show you because it might show my credits or whatever, but just go to your credits tab, put in the credit and you'll be good to go. Now once you guys have done that, go over to the EC2, click on key pairs and hit create a key pair. Now I'll explain this a little bit later in this video, but for right now, just make it any name you want, hit create and then you'll be good to go. It will tell you to download a file, so make sure you have that file downloaded and put it somewhere like you know you're not gonna lose it, it's like your desktop, your documents, or somewhere you know it's gonna be at. Then on the left hand side here guys, come over to the instances tab and then hit launch new instance. You're gonna see a bunch of different operating systems. The one you are gonna want is either the 2019 Microsoft Windows or you can do 2016. Probably wouldn't suggest going any lower than that just because some bots don't run that low but for most cases I just go 2019. Now pretty much this is the most important part of the server. As you can see, we have a lot of different options here and I know it's probably gonna look a little confusing, but the one you are gonna wanna look for is the C4.2XL. Um, you can pretty much just do control F and search if you want to, or you can scroll through and try to find it. It's gonna give you eight CPUs and 15 gigs of memory. Once you guys have done that, hit next. Come down here to the very bottom and you'll see shared instances. You wanna change that to dedicated because that'll just give you faster speeds and faster operating times. Honestly guys, I don't know if that's a word. I just made that up. It sounds pretty smart, so I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> then hit review and launch down here in the bottom right. Then hit launch again. Then hit launch down here at the bottom right. As you can see right here, you're gonna have a key pair. That's the key pair you made earlier in this video. So if you didn't make one, go back and make one. You can click whichever one you want, or I guess you can make a new one if you want to. Then hit this little check icon right here and hit launch instances. Then you're gonna come back to your instances page and you're gonna see it loading up right here. It is gonna take like two to five minutes to get ready. So I'll come back to you guys whenever it's done. So you come up here to the top where you see connect, hit get password. You're gonna have to find your key pair right here. So once you find your key pair, mine's blocked out right now so you can't see it. Hit decrypt password and then you'll see your password right here. Just simply copy that and hit download remote desktop file. So once you guys have the file to simply open it, hit connect, paste in your password, hit remember me and hit okay, hit yes. And then you can see our server is opening right now. So once you guys open up your server, you are gonna wanna come down here to the bottom left and click on server manager. Now in order to download your bot, you guys are gonna have to enable download. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So once you're on this screen, hit configure local server. Come over here to where you see IE enhanced security. Click on on and turn both of these off. And once you've done that, come back over to the dashboard, hit add roles and features. Come down here to server selection, features, and then download the Net Framework 3.5. Now pretty much all bots are gonna need this in order to run, so this is an easy way to download it. Once you have this downloaded guys, just simply paste in your bot URL to download your bot, put in your key, and you're pretty much ready to go. 
So it's as simple as that guys to make your own AWS sneaker server. If you guys have any questions or anything, definitely leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also guys, be sure to let me know what video you guys want to see next. And as always guys, if I did help you guys out in any way in this video, please be sure to hit that like button down below and hit that subscribe button for more content and definitely check out some other videos. Also guys, if you are looking for a premier sneaker group for only $25 a month, you can join Unlimited Cook. You get access to extensive release guides, monitors, bot support, general support, and pretty much everything you need. I'll have a link down in the description below if you guys want to check us out. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm on them with a cop, and I'm out. Yeah, I run my city without running shoes. You ain't gotta wonder who. All these rappers sound the same.